me. There's plenty more where that came from, because we really appreciate how hard you're looking for Amelia. Fingers crossed it won't be long, eh? Um, can I take a couple of those T-shirts, please, while I'm here? Coming right up. Yeah, Tracy. We're putting all the money into a fund to keep things going for Dan and Kerry, you know. I mean, it all helps. Talking of which, I need to get to the factory. <laughs> the staff oh. are splitting Kerry's hours, so she still gets her wage. Oh, that is a lovely thing to do. You are a softy on the quiet. Well, don't go spreading it around. I have got a reputation to uphold. <laughs> oh, talking of which, I might be out tonight. I, uh, I thought I'd see if Graham fancies hitting the town. Well, that is, if he doesn't bail on me again. Graham? Yeah, he's a mate. And all he does is run around after little Lord Fauntleroy. He deserves a blowout. Well, don't worry, it's not going to be anything heavy. He's teetotal, remember? See you later. Mwah. Mwah. I thought you were going to speak to Graham. Warn him to stay away from you and Dad. I did. I just hope he got the message. You thought you could wear it in the B&B? Made the guest smile. <laughs> Indeed. That's if we ever open again. <laughs> what do you mean? Of course you will, what, yeah? Well, let's see. The builder's quote is uh, through the roof. No pun intended. Mm. <laughs> Not to mention Dad being in court today, dragging our reputation through the mud. Yeah, our well, Mum's already had a go at him, for what it's worth. What happened with that Terry was the final straw. Bernice, I should never have let Doug wheedle his way in in the first place. I went into business with your mother. Not that buffoon. <laughs> Things will come good, you'll see. Yeah. Thanks for this. Appreciate it. It's a pleasure. See you, Dad. Hey. What are you doing here? Um, getting the bus with you. Why is the village full of police? Oh, they're uh, starting another search for Amelia. She's been missing nearly two weeks now. Everyone's really beside themselves. Well, I bet they are. Do you know her? Yeah. She just lives over the road. Yeah, she's my fella's daughter, so we're kind of related. So, if you see or hear anything... Oh, don't worry. They'll be the first to know. <laughs>